At five foot one and 95 pounds, he was just a skinny little teenager. Only 14 years old, growing up in the town of Alkaloo, South Carolina, as bright and talented, George Stenney wanted to be an artist when he grew up. Instead, his name will be forever linked to a tragic story of Jim Crow era injustice. The bodies of 11-year-old Betty June Binnaker and 7-year-old Mary Emma Thames were found in a ditch. Tell us where we could find some May Pops. We said no. And they went on about their business. Looking for somebody to blame it on. So they used my brother as a scapegoat. He had no choice in how they died, and he did. And I think that justice was served according to the laws in 1944. Botched investigation. Stinney's alibi. His little sister was never questioned. No evidence of blood on Stinney's clothing. His defense attorney called no witnesses and filed no appeal.